Hey guys, Black Roo here with you again for another Top Stocks video. Uh, I am going to give you Top Stocks to watch for the week. I am not a financial advisor. I am not responsible for your gains and losses. However, I hope my channel sparks a flame for you to invest. Sparks a flame for financial freedom with you guys. And, um, you know, that's what I'm here for. Any questions, any comments, I value them. Please put them in the um comment section i answer all my comments um please like and subscribe it helps the video you get an update the moment i post a video i use benzinga pro if you like what you see what you see i am an affiliate the link is in the description also use webulls please sign up below and get actually four free stocks let's get into it okay so this week uh, we're doing the same as last week, actually, stocks. They're still great to watch, plus three more. So the first three we're actually looking at are Riot, um, VYGVF, which is Voyager um, Voyager Digital, and uh, Mara. So we're just following the trends with these. Like Bitcoin was over two, 22K last week. And this weekend, they yeah, already reached uh, and touched 24K. So, really, we're just trying to ride the Bitcoin craze with these. Um, so, Riot, if you haven't heard, is a big chain mining company. They're the largest miner. Mara is also a miner, but a little bit smaller. And uh, Voyager Digital is a Canadian Bitcoin trading app. It's like another Coinbase. For those of you who are invested in Bitcoin, you know about Coinbase. However, unlike Coinbase, it's commission-free, and it offers interest on uh, investments. Another honorable mention, now that I'm thinking about it, is CleanSpark. CleanSpark has recently gotten into the Bitcoin mining game. They bought a company that was originally trying to get uh, purchased by Mara, and uh, it's a Bitcoin mining company, and they're going to use their microgrid technology to help lower the cost of mining uh, Bitcoin. So I don't know if you guys have tried to do this. I'm going to look into it. Um, you can actually personally mine Bitcoin and mine uh, certain types of uh, coin from your house. Um, it, but it's just a huge energy cost. So they're looking to hook up microgrids to these guys so they can regulate energy, regulate energy fluctuations and lower the cost of mining these um, these coins. So that, that's going to be very lucrative if you look at Bitcoin having uh, charts. Bitcoin's supposed to be in like the, the, the 10,000 to 100,000 range for the next like four years. And then with all the uh, uncomfortableness about the money that's being printed for stimulus and various things, people are looking to store money in crypto and real estate. So, crypto for the next foreseeable future is going to be looking really, really, really good. Moving on. Next two stocks are EV charging plays. And they also happen to be SPACs. And honorable mission, TB, TPGY, which is EV box charging. They're the second players behind uh, SBE. And uh, Romeo here, Romeo Charging is a battery play. We're really looking at Romeo Charging because their merger vote date, their date to uh, finalize their merger is coming up on the, it's either the 29th or the 30th, don't quote me on that, but it is coming up at the end of December. And usually, uh, the way it's been going recently, stocks that have uh, declared their merger dates and merged and changed their symbol have risen. So, so be on the lookout for Rome, Romeo Power. Um, NBAC is a, another guy. It's a Nuve. They have bidirectional charging, and they have, I think, I believe, don't quote me on this either, I believe they have a patent on bidirectional charging. So any charging that you do on your car um, will actually possibly give money back to the grid by any power that the car doesn't need, it just floats back into the grid, and you make a profit from it. So that's very, very intriguing for me. Um, 
um, they're looking to um, the presidency. They're looking here to um, install a lot more charging stations on, on this possible uh, presidential thing. Um, so they're looking to, to install way, way, way more charging stations here and move the country towards um, electric vehicles. And Nuve and TPGY, they stand to benefit from that. Um, they stand a bit of benefit from coming over here and installing charging stations. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Okay, next two stocks are Arc Plays. IPOB will be open on the stock market. It will change its name to open because it's open door. It's real estate. On December 30, 21st, so please look out for that. It's probably going to pop tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but day after tomorrow or whatever, Monday. And um, LGVW is ultrasound by phone. So these companies, uh, I, I, Kathy Wood at ARK Invest, and she tends to uh, invest in um, disruptive things. These are the only uh, SPACs she's in. I'm very, 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 very much excited about these companies. Open Doors, kind of like Zillow meets Rocket. They outright buy your house if you like it and you pick your closing date. They have a snazzy phone app. They have, they're on the internet. And basically, they kind of cut out the middleman. You don't no longer need a mortgage person. You no, no longer need any of that type of searching for a mortgage. They say, you know, if we like your house, we buy it. You pick your closing date. Hey, if you like, you know, if you like how we've been treated, you come on our site, buy another house. So they're there. And then they have the ability to kind of upsell you from there. Like, OK, you're on our site now. Look at this insurance deal that we can give you a uh, housing insurance deal. Look at look at what we can give you here and look what we give you there. So a lot of different um, um, money making opportunities there with uh, IPOV. Um, and they're just really streamlining the process of buying a house, which for anybody who's bought a house, buying a house can be so, 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 um, stressful. And any way to streamline that process, just, it, it means more than you can actually pay in money, to be honest with you. And they're saving you money. So I'm very high on those guys. So with Butterfly Networks, they're trying to do an ultrasound by phone. So what that does is it for third world countries who can't really afford these like really expensive pieces of medical equipment, they buy this piece that that um, Butterfly Networks has, and they can just do an ultrasound by phone. The amount of lives that are going to be saved are going to is just going to be crazy. Plus, just the amount of uh, money that's going to be made by this company is insane. So, that's why I'm believing in these two. So, the next four we have are, are trenders. Jumia just keeps going. Jumia is the African, um, the African Amazon. You can you can say they've done a lot to like streamline their selling process. They just recently did an offering, so they got more money through the door that way. You got people hopping on board saying, you know, backing them. You got Stephen Weiss. He's like the managing partner of uh, Short Hills Capital Partners. You even got Citron, who's like perennial short sellers, changing their tune on Jumia. Then you got Jumia with their uh, Jumia Pay, which have, lets them be first movers in kind of like the square type contactless payment system in Africa so 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 much looking so good for this company even at $42 can you imagine like Square is over a hundred now how Square might be let's just look up Square right quick 235 you know what I mean so and we know Amazon's like way 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 up there so at $40 Jumia is like a bargain right now, and I, I definitely own shares in this, um, and I got them down here at 16, so I, I mean, 
but the, the the space they have to run and the markets they're in and in, in the first mover market in Africa, which is kind of untapped, um, and and COVID actually meeting and pre- precipitating and pushing the need for contactless payment and for people to just order from their homes. It just bodes well for Jumia in the future. It just really, 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 really does. So Jumia, and then we have MP. Rare earths and metals are needed for all these EVs, and they're the only rare earth mining in North America. So their site says, man, all these EV cars and all these EV chargers and charging stations need copper and a bunch of other rare earth materials that you guys haven't heard of. Go check out MP's site. I'm going to like not do that so we don't waste too much time on here. But if you check out MP's site, they're saying, look, our materials are needed to build all these things. So we're going to be in demand. That's, that's, that's the long and short of it. Just these materials are needed to make these electronic cars like way more than a gas combustion car. So <laughs> MP, even at $30 right now, you got to think it's a bargain and really nobody nobody wanted to touch the stock for like a long long time it's just sitting at 15 and 12 dollars so anybody who got it there kudos to you but uh here at 32 i think it's still still a bargain and i'm um, looking forward to continue this trend and uh if you can look at this chart if you go look at the chart it, it there I have a, a, a section, I have a video on charting. You can check it out over here, possibly. Or maybe they won't let me link another video here, but you can go check that out. And um, it, it tells you what these things mean. It basically means it's above the AEMA here. So that just says it's likely to continue a trend when it's this far above the um, ADMA on the, the day chart and the four hour chart. It just bodes really well for it to continue a trend. So let's go to our next ones here. All right, and for our final two, we got F cell here and uh, Fire Fire Eye. So uh, F cell is fuel cell tech. It um it ran on off of uh, Hyundai Motors. Announcing the release of fuel cell vehicles to Japan in 2022. So um, basically, F Cell they just did a offering, so um, that pulled them back a little bit, and they're finally bouncing off that that offering. So they were up to about 11 or 10.50. They announced the offering pulled back, and now they're finally bouncing off of, bouncing off that low. So you can see they bounced here, headed back down, and they're creating a new high off that off the low here. So we're looking to continue that trend. And also FireEye, their cybersecurity. Um, they recently found an error in their security code, and they actually dropped because of that here. But now they... In, in finding their error, they found some error in some other cybersecurity code. Um, and apparently that caused them to rush up. But um, basically, if you really look at it, they've been trending since May when they were down at $11 here. So they've trended all the way up to 19 I'm probably going to look for them to either kick back to like half of this move that they made. So either they kick back to around like 17, 17.50, or they pass this high, this pre this uh, closing high of 19.23. They pass the closing high of 19.23 and kind of really hold there. 19.23, 19.50-ish and continue going. They're probably going to continue going, in which case I'm going to get in. And you got earnings coming up here on February 11th. So, yeah. Also, I believe with F Cell, the earnings are coming up soon too. Earnings are coming up here on January 20th. I'm just going to use Benzinga Pro to double check that. 
Let's look here. Because Bid and Zynga Pro gives the best dates. Yes. Coming up here on 120. And let's see. They beat revenue last couple times, so. Looking good for future then, I think. They miss Ibida, but that that's just less concerning than the um, than the um, revenue. So yeah, looking for these two to continue. And total total stocks we have here, we have um, these twelve: Riot, Voyager, Digital Mara, IPOB, LGVW, MP, NBAC, RMG. TPGY, Jumia, FCell, and FI. Thanks a lot, fam. Peace.